This how to video will show you how to enable log in Helix ITSM. To begin, from the application flyout menu, let's select the AR system server group console. From there, on the logs, let's select log management. Then let's load the setting for A server, NA. Let's pick the platform admin zero. To enable the logs, I first need to verify the advanced settings configuration. Click on advanced settings, and let's review the log file creation options. We need to set it up create backup. Then I said, I'm going to set it create backup and set the apply button to green to tell the server that there's a change to apply here. Then I can go on the left side and, select and enable the logs that I want to, that I need. I can check API logs and <clears throat> click on my, set my apply button to green. So do the same for filter, SQL logs, and set the apply button to green on both. Then I need to decide where I want to apply this configuration to. I can have all the server, a specific server, or serverless. If I select one server, I can decide which server I want to pick, or I can just go with all server. So let's do that. Click apply. <clears throat> and then I have my log settings successfully apply. To disable the logs, I just need to uncheck the logs, keeping my apply settings to green, and click apply. I could also have done a serverless. Click on serverless, and there's no serverless, but I can I could go to on the configuration, serverless, and build a serverless. In this case, let's uh, create one for only the platform user. So I can call this one platform user. I'm going to type in and then select the two platform user server. Apply one, apply two, close. And then I can come back here on my drop down and select platform user. And I can again check my logs and click apply. One of the common issues that we have with this form is that if you're trying to change the log file name and click apply, it's going to tell you that this configuration setting is restricted, which is why we need to keep the logs file name as is and use the create backup options to force the creation of a new file when you click on apply. Thank you for watching this video.